Hello everyone, welcome to our bi-weekly QBU community meeting. Uh, as usual, in this meeting, we are going to discuss about the issues we fixed and the ongoing tasks. So since our last, uh, since our last meeting, we have uh, released 0.9.0 and fixed a couple of issues after that. Uh, on is, this is the list you can get from document list here. I've given the document link. So in our first issue, uh, there was an issue when one snapshot is a prefix of another, uh, while deleting the first uh, snapshot will also delete the data from a second one. So it was a uh, it was a data loss uh, issue. So we have fixed that um, by this here in, in in every uh, in every repository. So it will be available from our next uh, 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 Another was uh, we have added uh, all, we had all a category in our catalog resources. Uh, so user had, uh, user had complained about that. So we have also removed all from the catalog. So if user get, gives the uh, runs the command, you should get all yeah, the catalogs won't be shown from now on. Uh, in our last uh, release, uh, the environment update was not restricted, but it was uh, still uh, our test was searching for it, so the tests were failing. Um, we have also fixed that in our master branch. We had another uh, interesting issue. Uh, in this issue, uh, the peer finder hangs when running on cluster with custom name. So by default, the cluster name is cluster.local. So when, when user uh, edits the cluster domain name, uh, it hangs there. But the fix was the uh, they had already updated the binary. Uh, they had already updated the source code, but the binary was too old. So we have forked for the peer finder repo in our k modules uh, organization and we have released another binary and we have used that binary for our uh, new <coughs> database units so from our next release it will not be a issue anymore so we have while testing we have found that our Elasticsearch version was failing because we are using, uh, we are say installing SearchGuard for with uh, dash v1, um, but it was a mistake uh, from new lead. In in the last release, it won't cause a problem, I guess. Uh, so, but from the uh, next release, we have also fixed that, and it won't be a case. Uh, we had an issue from on user where my school is was crash look back offing. Uh, the fix was the uh, storage uh, limit was very low. Uh, after increasing it to one GB, it is uh, working. And the user also confirmed that the uh, CRD was working uh, in his machine. So uh, I, I don't know why this happened. Uh, the storage size was 5 MB, but after increasing it, it's working. So we are sticking with it. Uh, in our next issue, we have updated uh, our event recorder. Uh, since now, the event recorder is a job controller, snapshot controller, MongoDB MySQL controller had uh, uh, different event recorders but from now on on event recorder will be used uh, one event recorder based for everyone so uh, in some uh, event rights may seem different from now on uh, we had also added the uh, quality snapshot test uh, quality snapshot test means uh, when the snapshot is not valid but still the deletion and the editing must pass the value waybook or my, it must be deleted. Uh, it should be deleted. Uh, so we have also added a test for, for this um, so that it cannot 
and uh, the synap how the synapses is not a, uh, a is stuck from now on. So that's the issues we have fixed so far. Uh, ongoing task, uh, I'm working on adding a test script uh, to a test PBB operator upgrade. Um, it is not, uh, I have not created any PF, so the link is blank for this one. Uh, QB monitoring, he was working on adding QB monitoring support. Uh, for after adding it, user will be able to monitor the QB operator itself. Uh, he will also add some docs to show how to do it. Uh, I'm uh, working on uh, adding a doc on how to uh, or a, uh, how to upgrade the QB operator from one version to another. Uh, in the Redis cluster support, uh, Shweto is already uh, has already finished Redis cluster support. Uh, we are gonna um, add it in the, to master after review, and after uh, then we will release and we will cut a release of QDB 0.10.0. Uh, we are planning to do it in next week, uh, so uh, but we have to complete that doc and test uh, before that. So the um, time is not certain, but we are asking to do it happen. App binding is already available, but some uh, issue, uh, some task is, uh, and I is working on some task. Uh, so let's see if any changes are required or not. But after uh, this user will be able to support uh, the service, uh, service broker uh, and uh, uh, has already finished service broker task and he has already added uh, docs to how to support cube apps or other uh, to support service broker so we, so user will be able to use uh, app binding service broker for his um, uh, in his production uh, we are also working on adding new versions, database versions, uh, like Postgres and Memphis Redis. Uh, 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 this is a wrong link. I give me one minute. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we are working on uh, updating the uh, six quarters. Uh, many of them are uh, backdated now. So we have uh, already updated the uh, Postgres uh, Exporters so while uh, supporting a uh, post seven point one, but it has to be done for others too. Um, but we have to test that before adding that, so it will be done in some time. And uh, this is the link. Uh, we're also adding supports for new uh, versions of the uh, database uh, like Postgres 10.6, 10.1 and the uh, tick marks are already done uh, like Elasticsearch, uh, Indus has done or Elasticsearch 6.5.3 parts and uh, Postgres 11.1 and 10.6 is also added. Uh, others are just pass updates so let's, uh, we hope to do that but it won't be a, a major issue uh, but we'll do it eventually uh, that's the ongoing task so far uh, this is the uh, update uh, in our in the last two weeks if anyone has any question uh, no Uh, I guess there is no questions. So thanks everyone for joining. We uh, hope to see you in our next video meeting. Thank you.